Riley Gaines's critique of Governor Spencer Cox's decision to veto a legislation aimed at prohibiting transgender men from participating in women's sports invokes a nuanced discussion on fairness within the athletic arena and the preservation of women's rights. Now, 24 states have enacted some sort of fairness in women's sports bill that ultimately protects sports on the basis of sex. Uh, your wonderful governor here in this state vetoed this legislation. Uh, and you want to know what his excuse was? I'm watching the, the press conference. He said he wanted to err on the side of compassion. I've got a question for you, Governor Cox. Who are you being compassionate towards? Because it's not women. It's not your daughters. He doesn't care about them. Uh, is it compassionate to ask a young girl to address in front of a man? Is that what compassion is? We must have two totally different definitions of compassion and inclusion. Oh, is it inclusion to ask us to smile and step aside and allow these men onto our podiums? No, I think we previously call, called that exclusion. And it's exclusive to the very females, the very women, who Title IX in the women's sporting category was passed and, and created, implemented to protect. Um, so uh, call out your leaders here in this. Riley Gaines's critique of Gover, Spencer Cox's veto, prompts a critical inquiry into whose voices and experiences hold sway in shaping policies and decisions pertaining to the ideals of compassion and inclusion. The debate surrounding Riley Gaines's stance may hinge on whether the inclusion of biological males in women's sports poses risks, such as unfair advantages and safety concerns for female athletes. Riley Gaines's argument appears to champion the preservation of traditional gender norms, advocating for the maintenance of distinct categories for male and female athletes in competitive sports. This underscores the necessity for policy decisions grounded in evidence, prioritizing fairness, safety, and the preservation of opportunities for women in sports.